So I'm going to go through the grading rubric and the example that I have for you, which is related to prostate cancer. So in the first row across, um, this one here is again describing about communicable diseases. The first three are all the exact same besides what kind of disease you are describing. So I'm going to be just focusing on this second row here, talking about a hereditary um, disease being prostate cancer. And in the rubric, we're talking about why someone would be prone. Again, this should be specific to you, to the disease, um, how likely someone is to develop the disease, and then some signs and symptoms and impacts on the body. So looking at my example here, um, I have it broken down. Now, how again you put this together, that's completely up to you. I've decided to do it just simply in a uh, doc format. You could do it as a uh, PowerPoint. You could do it as a brochure to actually give out sort of thing. But here, my first part, um, I'm describing what prostate cancer is. And you notice here in my parentheses, I have where I'm getting my information from. I also kind of throw out the um, example here. I talk about what website or kind of make that reference, which here being kind of the second part, how common is prostate cancer? I start my sentence by saying, according to the Prost Prostate Cancer Foundation website and so forth. And I give my information about how um, common prostate cancer is. One of the next pieces was relating to signs and symptoms, uh, and I kind of give what it might look like. But here you notice I also have a video that corresponds to the signs and symptoms of where I've gotten my information from. As far as what else might happen in the body, this one might, depending on what your disease is that you're looking up, might not really have a whole lot to do with it, which kind of goes hand in hand with mine. Um, some of the direct impacts from prostate cancer more so relates to the treatment that's going to be given to somebody if they are diagnosed. And then here, I give a good breakdown of why I would be at risk to get prostate cancer. And I pull out a quote from the Prostate Cancer Foundation that I use to help kind of give the reason from there. Moving down on a rubric, the influencing factors. So to get an um, advanced category, you have to have six different types. And that goes throughout all of the descriptions that you are given. So you can do two for influencing factors per disease that you're talking about. You could talk about all six influencing factors that we've discussed in class. But for my example here, just two of them is based upon beliefs and based upon culture. The big thing here that I've talked in class is I pull specific statistics related to Wisconsin. I do it specific to Sheboygan County. And I also kind of give um, that in relation to how it's pertinent to the culture here in Wisconsin. And then the last part, again, it kind of breaks down the idea of what the actual care plan, some treatment options from there. So again, I'm kind of focused in this um, second one here relating to some medications, over-the-counter products, um, doctors, things like that. So within my care plan, I'm talking about some prevention tips first of all. Um, two different types of exams and screenings that can be done. And then also kind of some of those risk factors that could relate to the influencing factors we've discussed above. Again, I also have a video that's linked here to help explain that. After that, I give specific treatments though. First of all, I talk about how someone is diagnosed with cancer um, from that idea, because the second part of the actual treatments that people are given to help get rid of the prostate cancer in the body Kind of breaks down with these six different types from there. A very important piece too is that I've included a local doctor that is a specialist relating to prostate cancer and then also the clinic in Sheboygan that also relates to it. So again specific information that I'm looking up 
and giving um, more information beyond just very general from the concept from there. So here's the example. This would put somebody at an advanced as far as this section of accessing information, partially to go with the influencing factors, and then one of the sections related to promote health and prevent disease.